James and Gia Milinovic. We start our coverage of domestic ice hockey this weekend with a quest for this. It's one of the top prizes in the British sport. It's the Benson and Hedges Cup. There are eight teams left in the tournament. And in the quarter-final draw, there's one tie that really does stand out. Cardiff against Sheffield. The first leg from the Wales National Ice Rink coming up exclusively here on Sky. The Devils won this tournament three years ago as part of a treble and have been the runners-up for the past two years. Sheffield won a game in this building in mid-March. It was a league win, and they're the only team to do that inside this Cardiff ice rink in two and a half years. Neither team has a long history, but they're already very fierce rivals for the right to declare themselves Britain's number one. The Cardiff Devils and the Sheffield Steelers met in the semi-final of the Benson Hedges Cup last year. Cardiff won both legs to put their third successive final place, a custom success for the Cardiff Devils. Disappointment, though, for the Steelers, was their only semi-final appearance to date. Sheffield, though, were to have the last laugh. Four months later, the league title safely under their belt. Another semi-final against Cardiff. This time, the British Championship at Wembley. 4-4 after three periods, it went into a penalty shootout. It had been close, but the Devils struggled with their penalty shots. In the end, Hilton Ruggles missed, and Sheffield went through on into the final where they beat Edinburgh 7-2. Cardiff and Sheffield haven't met since then, and with pride and progression at stake, this first meeting of the two sides this season is going to be about as intense as it gets. It's the biggest game of the season so far, and the guys are getting really pumped up. We've, we've got a lot of training planned this week, and Paul heavey has got a lot of things he wants to fit into the training sessions in preparation. Um, I think it's already a sellout in the Cardiff ice rink, so it's probably going to be one of the most heated games of the season so far. You're not basically going down to take two points. You're basically going to uh, to keep the uh, the score close and come back to your your building and hopefully get the get the win in yours. Well, we're, we've got a physical side. We got a big side. I mean, uh, you know, Sheffield hasn't got small players, but I think we got you know a few more bigger players. You know, overall weight, I'm not sure of, but I think it could come down to uh, who's the tougher in the corner, a bump and grind type hockey team. They have a lot of pride, and they know that as a team, they lost last year to us in a penalty shootout in Wembley, but. Uh, you know, I'm sure they will, will like to revenge that, but they also have a lot of new guys that, uh, in their own right, are going to be a good team. And whether revenge is on their mind or not, I think they're just going to be a very hard, uh, you know, challenge for us. So it'll be a very interesting weekend. With them. Steeler Nicky Chin may have divided loyalties for this one. A devil all his career. This summer he joined Sheffield. This is his first trip back to his hometown. You know, hopefully they, uh, they won't be too hard on me. You know, I, I gave all my best years I've, I've had from there. I learned my trade there. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to, to going back there and you know, showing them how much I've improved up in Sheffield. Well, I wonder what sort of reaction Nicky Chin will get when he comes into his old hometown rink for this game. Well, whatever the reception, I think tonight the atmosphere here is going to be fantastic. Yes, I'm sure it's going to outstrip the atmosphere in Tilburg for our first coverage of the Europa Cup a week ago. Sheffield Stones did very well in that tournament. I just wonder if they've really recovered from all of that. Well, they better be fighting fit, because as you know, the Devils had two big wins last weekend. Well, it is going to be very exciting. Let's join our commentators. First of all, former NHL player Bob Corral. And the first man you'll hear is our commentator, Tony Miller. It may be the Wales National Ice Ring, but it's a boiling cauldron here this evening. The Red Dragon of Wales, represented by Cardiff, takes on the White Rose of Yorkshire. That's Sheffield Steelers. Let's have a look at the lineups here in this big match this evening. Stevie Lyle, a young goaltender, the mighty important Doug McEwen, Steve Morrier, such an influence that centre ice on one line, Randy Smith on the other, Ivan Batulink, the Czech Canadian. Shannon Hope and the Cooper brothers, of course, they provide goals of plenty for Cardiff Devils. For Sheffield, their lineup: goaltender Martin Mackay, so influential in Holland. Tim Cranston, vital. Tommy Plummer, also important too. And Nicky Chin, back on home territory in his hometown of Cardiff. Tony Hand, arguably the best man in British ice hockey. Chris Kellen, an influential and experienced defenseman. And Les Milley, the Scot from Fife. Ron Shudra, though, of course, the captain. On their way to this stage, only a draw with Basingstoke Bison prevented a 100% record for the Cardiff Devils. Sheffield, one black mark, the defeat at the hands of Nottingham Panthers, otherwise well-nigh perfect. 
The referee this evening is Simon Kirkham, who comes from Leicester. And his two linesmen here tonight, Terry Young and Lee Young, are 18-year-old Lee Young, the father and son from Bracknell. Here we go, the action underway. O'Connor gets it out, but the uh, Devils get it straight back in, and Shannon hugs the man after it. Turn for Sheffield, but Greg Ware stops it on the red line, bars it back in. Randy Smith for Parley. Sheffield came back. Andre Marlow, neat turn, but held on. Devils holding the puck in well. Can they get it out? Only as far as Shannon Hope. Plummer back for Sheffield. Getting it out to Cranston. Good forward, Greg Ware. Bob Carroll alongside me. Cardiff getting in charge from the early stages and keeping the puck in the Sheffield defensive zone. Round behind the net, O'Connor. For Sheffield. Puts it up the ice. Ian Cooper. The slap shot against the back netting. No plexiglass here. It's netting in this Cardiff ring. Doesn't bounce back quite so fast, but Priestley. A chance coming in here. Great opportunity, but down there, well, we've got Stevie Lyle to affect the save. Very good combination play here between Ken Priestley and Tony Han coming out of the zone. Priestley just getting in behind. Stephen Cooper finds his trailer, Tony Han, who gets a shot on Stevie Lyle, but a nice save by Stevie Lyle to keep the score at nil-nil. Face off though, deep in the Cardiff zone. One point and play back to Matulik. Here come the Devils with the crowd right behind them. A slap shot in, palmed away at Gagin from Ian Cooper. A stick broken for Stephen Cooper as the Steelers come away. Shooter's on the left waiting for it. Doesn't reach him. Ian Cooper, Stephen Cooper. Shrewdra for the Steelers. First icing call of the game and uh, really end-to-end -end stuff early on, Bob. Tense action so far in this match. Icing uh, the puck is a call on that play there. We saw that, the Sheffield player icing the puck. It's not permitted when both teams are at equal numerical strength. Thus, it's an infraction when the player on his team's side of the red line shoots the puck all the way down the ice and it crosses the red goal line. Well, the face-off then to the Devils. Deep in the Sheffield zone. Can they ease it back? Greg Ware's on point. But the sheet says Steelers get it out. The chase is on. Ron Shooter and Greg Ware. Ware to the four. Moria. Trying to get his pass away. Moria again. Across the goal. Matulik getting close to getting the touch, but not succeeding. Tony Hand on the chase, still scoreless here in the Wales National Ice Rink. It's Cardiff nil, Sheffield nil. Matulik with Ian Cooper. Matulik on the puck, good stick handling there, gets the shot in. Brilliant save, in fact, by Mackay. Bit of a foregone conclusion there. Ivan Matulik elects to take the shot on the goalkeeper, but that just hit the side of the net. The referee lost track of the puck, so he decided to call a stoppage in play. There's a shot from Matulik. It just hits the side of the net. He whistles it down. As a result of that call, it comes out into the neutral zone where we'll have a face-off. Cardiff nil, Sheffield nil. He's back to Mike Ware. With him is Stephen Cooper, captain for the Devils. But the call takes the puck right back up the ice, and there, a face-off in a good position for the Sheffield Steelers. Coming off a tough weekend, the Sheffield Steelers, I feel, have adapted to this game very, very well. They were in a situation where the timing of the game would have been that much quicker, 
that had less time to work on the puck. Here they, they may find that to an influence for themselves. Stephen Cooper gets the puck away for the Steelers. France is on the chase, but uh, playing safe is Martin Mackay. A game such as this, Tony, will go down to one-on-one -on -one battles. I know we keep talking about these things where two players fight for the puck against one another, but it's these little one-on-one -on -one battles. It's whoever's going to win those is going to create the scoring opportunities and get the final result at the end of the day. Ware is on point. Stone's on point with the face-off. Randy Smith kept back in. Shannon Hope around the back of the net chasing. Flipped out quickly for the Steelers, but only as far as Greg Ware. In his turn to Shannon Hope. Across the ice to Jason Stone, McEwen. Marlow reads it well. Kept in by McEwen, but comes out as it rolls. Plummer with the chase for the Steelers. Round behind the net it goes. There's Billy's in there well. Looking for somebody on the point, on the near side. Lovely chase, Randy Smith has a man with him. There's McEwen, great effort. Puck kept in, Shannon Hope with the shot just wide. Jason Stone keeps it in. A pull around the back of the net to Plummer. Plummer gets it out of the zone to relieve the pressure. They change on the fly, both teams, but coming forward quickly, Ian Cooper. Here come the Steelers this time. Ron Shudra. Trails it read well by Ian Cooper. For the Devils, but it falls in fact here, and a great chance coming away of Priestley. A lovely save there by the young goaltender. He's very good for his age, Bob, isn't he? He comes out of the net very, very well, which is important for a young goalkeeper. Bit of a mix-up in the defensive zone by the Devils. Ken Priestley, the man there, you don't want to have the puck and shooting it. But Stevie Lyle comes out of his net, cuts the angles down and makes a nice stop. Steve Nemeth for the Steelers. But it's brought away by Shannon Hope. Away indeed to Randy Smith. Flicked deep into the Steelers zone by Doug McEwen. But it's out again, and the chase is on. This time, the icing call once again takes the puck right up the other end of the ice. No penalties so far. Steve Nemeth coming off an injury. He'd been out a month prior to, prior to playing in the European Cup last weekend, and he did a tremendous job. He came out, gave it his all, and uh, was a very key figure, especially against the Slovenian side. They're enjoying it here at Cardiff. They're all singing, shouting, and chanting. In the Steelers' zone. Callan's got to shadow it round. McEwen's there. McEwen wins the puck, but only finds, in fact, uh, Cranston. Cranston brings it away. Lovely pass there, and the chase is on. It's waved on by the officials. That's in order. But some pretty good defensive cover there from Mike Ware, just when it mattered. Randy Smith. No man on the left wing, just where he wanted it. Duck McEwen had come across to the other side of vacant space, allowing the Steelers to come away. Shannon Hope with stick handling. Stephen Cooper. Plummer for the Steelers. They pass out and hit out of the ring because Lesmany threatened to go on the chase. Both teams playing tactful defense. Stephen Cooper voted the best British defenseman for the last four out of five years. But more importantly, him and his brother have been part of a Wembley Championship team for almost the last six years. Just goes to show you the importance of these two players in your lineup. And it's Marlow that puts it deep into the uh, Cardiff zone, but Jason Stone uh, flicks it out. Marlow gets a stick to it, which means no chance of icing. Halfway through the first period. Here come the Steelers, Marlow. 
Lovely poke check from Mike Ware on the blue line. Marlowe again. Priestley's with him. Shudra. Tony Hand all chasing into the zone. Out come the Devils. Ian Cooper. Moria. Just over the bar there. Ivan Matulik, an Edinburgh racer last year. Nice play by Greg Ware to get the puck. To Ivan Matulik in the zone. He takes a shot. Just off the glove of Martin Mackay and over the barrier. While it's certainly even, it's certainly nil-nil, and certainly Bob, both teams know they're in a match. They are both playing very well defensively, and I think this is a key to the game. A shot there from Jason Stone, and we've got some action on the edge of the goal crease. They're quickly in, and so too are the officials. One of the dominant influences of Ian Cooper, number 66 for the Cardiff Devils, is he has always had the reputation of going where no other player goes. He gets himself in front of the net, he causes problems for the goalkeeper, just generally makes a nuisance of himself, but it's so important in terms of the tempo in an ice hockey game. Ian Cooper, but brilliantly kept in there. The effort there from uh, Hope. Ian Cooper again. 19 is Moria, back to point. Jason Stone flicks it forward. It's Kellen for the Steelers. Neil Abel in front of the net, Kellen behind it. Kellen with the puck, playing it into the zone. The Steelers attacking zone, Devils defensive zone. Back in back quickly there to Priestley, but here come the Steelers. Matulik on the puck. Taken out well there by Abel for the Steelers. Greg Ware, looking for Moria, Kellen to Nemeth, Tony Hand, one back by Ian Cooper, knocked down by Marty Mackay, Kellen, Chin, and as far as Francis, the young Welshman turns it out of the defensive zone just when it was required, and McEwen's on the puck, great chance for Doug McEwen, slips in a brilliant save with his feet by Martin Mackay and there Doug McEwen coming desperately close to adding in his eight Benson the Hedges goals already this season transition from offense to uh, or from defense to offense nice little pass to Doug McEwen great play to go in around Mike O'Connor Martin Mackay equal to the task by cutting the angle down offense transition Doug McEwen, he's such a great skater. This is the biggest part of his game. He can go all night out there, and he's such a strong skater. But Martin Mackay there certainly proving his worth once again, as he did in the event in Tilburg at the weekend in the Europa Cup. Martin Mackay, probably the star man of that tournament, Bob. He played well. He was uh, goaltender of the tournament. Nemeth. The penalty called on that was to Mike O'Connor, two minutes for slashing, which means that uh, almost getting a short-handed goal there, the Steelers, as they broke. McEwen flicking it in, Stephen Cooper, Shannon Hope on the chase. The big guns out here, but here comes Sheffield. McEwen. Ron Shudra so vital on the penalty kill. Michael Connor there in the box. He is a very dedicated person as far as the, as the sport is concerned. He works very hard off the ice to try and keep himself in shape and a tremendous ambassador for the sport. Stephen Cooper coming back. All the Devils as they build on this. Mike Ware. Moria. 
turning it back desperate to get into the man on point where Mike Ware gets a shot in it's high but it hits his own man Matulik on the back and rebounds to safety for the Steelers the power play again for Cardiff Devils Ian Cooper flicks it in Matulik on the chase the cover there from Tony Hand Nil-nil still here in the Wales National Ice Rink as Tony Hand covers well. Hand flicks it up to gain more time and a breathing space. And very shortly, Mike O'Connor, seconds to go to come back on the ice. As the Steelers break, O'Connor is back and the Steelers back to full strength. And they survive the Sheffield at the Cardiff power play. Cranston, McEwen with the cover. Hope winning it well. McEwen's there. Randy Smith is there. The shot from Les Milley. It's high, it's wide, and Stevie Lyle wants it go by. Nil-nil here at the Wales National Ice Rink. Cardiff Devils nil. Sheffield Steelers nil. The shot from Randy Smith. Better safe than sorry, says Martin Mackay, and a breather for all concerned. Randy Smith just stepping in over the blue line, tech, takes a shot on Martin Mackay. He just covers up and creates a face-off in the zone. He's not taking any chances out there. Fast tempo to this match. A little bit of a mistake deep in the zone could cost you a scoring opportunity. But the face-off deep in the Steelers' zone. Is this another chance for the Cardiff Devils? Five and a half minutes remaining on the period. Nil-nil. The Cardiff fans outnumbering their Sheffield counterparts and making themselves heard. Greg Ware's on point. Jason Stone's on point. They can't get it back there. Andre Marlowe wins it for Sheffield. As far as Les Milley. Tommy Plummer. But the defence reading it well. Big Greg Ware there. There being no space for Tommy Plummer. Here comes McEwen. Great skating from McEwen. Randy Smith is with him. Across the ring to Shannon Hope. Hope behind the net, looking for a man on point. There isn't one. Flicks it down array behind, but it's read well indeed by Steve Nemeth. Nemeth with the slap shot. Well taken by Stevie Lyle. Doug McEwen. Scotty Neal winning it for the Steelers. Nicky Chin back on his old home rink on the chase. Scott Neal putting himself about. Jason Stone behind his own net. But it's flipped out, but too far. And the Steelers are going to start again and all come out of the zone. Chris Kellen behind his own net. Just over four minutes remaining on the period. Good skating by Big Ron Shudra, taking it deep into the zone. Priest is with him. Kellen back on point. Round it goes, Matulik. <laughs> 19, Murillo providing the pass there. But uh, the offside call because Ian Cooper was in there too quickly. A big component of this game this evening will be role players such as Scotty Neal and Peter Smith of the Cardiff Devils. Scotty Neal's been around the game a long time. He's often called upon by Coach Alex Dampier to do a specific job on a specific player from the opposition. And that makes all the difference in the world when it comes down to a game as close as this one is. Mike Ware puts it in, but Tony Hands back there well. Here comes Ron Shudra. Priestley's in front of him. Shudra gets the shot away, but it's wide. Matulik has Moria with him. 
On his left-hand side is Cooper. Moria wins it again. Play back on towards the crease. Can they keep it in? Matulik blocked by Kellen. Round behind his own net. Looking to flick it out. Read well by Kellen. Looking for hand. And Cooper's almost combining there to keep it in. Three minutes remaining on the period. Still Sheffield nil. Cardiff, Ste uh, Cardiff Devils nil. Sheffield Steelers nil. The shot there almost uh, lost there by Martin Mackay. Kept in well by Ian Cooper. Matulik. Mike Ware's back on point. Stephen Cooper's on point. Ian Cooper loses it round behind the net. Mackay has to keep that safe. Plenty of pressure by the Devils in the Steelers' zone. And Martin Mackay just hangs onto that puck. But he did that for a reason. He did that because he knew his guys were in trouble. Ian Cooper trying to get something going in behind the net. It just comes out front. Martin Mackay jumps on it, stops the play, gives the Sheffield Steelers a chance to regroup. Mackay once again the Steelers' hero, but it's still deep in their defensive zone. The face-off uh, won, in fact, by Cardiff, but nobody on the point to uh, make it count. Plummer for the Steelers. Still battling for it and keeping it in. Branston is with him. Jason Stone for Cardiff. Shannon Hope lets it go out of the zone. Marlow flicks it back in for Steelers. There's nobody there in pursuit, save for Cardiff Devils. Greg Ware from behind his net in control. But the Steelers come and there's a chance here coming the way of Tommy Plummer, but in goes the shot, and Plummer slips it under the goaltender, Stevie Lyle, and that was the closest we've come yet to a goal, and I don't really think Stevie Lyle knew where that was. This opportunity resulted as a, because of a forecheck. Stevie Lyle ends up making a save on a puck that he actually tried to clear out of the zone. As a goaltender, you really have to be careful in situations like that. When you're clearing the puck, it's got to be going to a neutral uh, neutral point on the ice surface. Still nil-nil with just under two minutes remaining on the period here. Cardiff nil, Shepherd Steelers nil. We've got Scotty Neal out on the ice right now. As a role player, as we talked before, he'll be out there trying to monitor and watch Randy Smith. Well, we see that in football. They do it in ice hockey too. Scotty Neal, perhaps the spoiler there, as Greg Ware stops it for the Devils, but only as far as O'Connor. Marlowe's with him back. Scotty Neal puts it in. But Randy Smith's always a danger man. McKeown and Hope in front of him. Mackay plays it safe once again. Whenever Doug McKeown goes forward, Bob, danger threatens. Because he's such a tremendous skater, He's always circling out there. Very rarely do you see him stop. Randy Smith coming out of the zone with a puck. He sees nothing else but shooting it at that stage because Sheffield was trying to control their own blue line. Just under a minute and a half remaining. Still nil-nil. Greg Ware and Jason Stone on the point. If Devils can win the face-off, Randy Smith all but gets it through. We saw it last weekend, face-offs being so very important. Justin George scoring a goal for the Sheffield Steelers right off a of face-off. Here's another situation with Randy Smith almost getting away and getting a shot on Martin Mackay. On a face-off, players must try and hang on to their man. They cannot let him get to the net. Ron Shooter with the face-off there against uh, Randy Smith. The big men are there where it counts, and uh, the linesman there, uh, Terry Young, having a few problems and uh, Sugar is told to get away somebody else can take it and they do minute and a quarter remaining on the period still nil nil kept in well by Jason Stone as he's dumped over the boards there by Nicky Chin and Chin wins possession a lovely hit on Nicky Chin there but uh, the crowd here are cheering of course he's a former Cardiff devil but in goes the shot and somehow the young man, Stevie Lar, just 15 years old, manages to keep it out. 
Lots of controversy with Nicky Chin, formerly a Cardiff Devil, coming back into his own ice rink. Mike O'Connor just getting the shot on the goalkeeper. Stevie Lyle coming way out of his net, makes a nice save, just hangs on to create the face-off in the zone. And has the impression, Bob, that Stevie Lyle's playing his angles well there. When he comes out, they've not got any space to shoot at. When the goalkeeper comes out of the net, it gives the shooter little or less opportunity to find a hole in the net. Board checking by both sides has been a big part in this game. Paul Heavey, the Cardiff Devils, is trying to alleviate that by bringing Ian Cooper out into the center ice area. He's hoping that that will pull the Sheffield defenders back and ease up the opportunity for, the, for Cardiff to come out of their own zone. Well, that's Stephen Cooper ran behind his own net, finding Ian Cooper. Cooper knocks it back with his skate in turn to his brother. Flips the puck forward and the chase is on with half a minute remaining on the period and still scoreless. The pass out to Tony Hand is just over the red line. The offside call takes the puck back into the Steelers zone with 27 seconds remaining and perhaps the last chance of a goal here in this period for Cardiff Devils. Tony Hand not very happy with that call whatsoever. He felt that he was onside with that pass coming from Chris Kellen. I think if he'd seen it where we did, he wouldn't have had any complaint at all, Bob. Here we go. Mike Ware with a slap shot. There's Tony Hand, another chance for him. Way up the ice, and uh, 20 seconds remaining on the period. The face-off once again back in the Steelers' defensive zone. What scoreline will they be looking for to take back to Sheffield then, Bob? They'll want to keep it close. There's no question about it. One goal, perhaps maybe two, but nothing more than that. They know that they can go back into their own home rink and have an advantage. The same goes with Cardiff. Cardiff will be pressing because they want to get a goal advantage to take that back to Sheffield. So back to point, the shot goes in for 55, which is Stephen Cooper. Mike Ware puts it back in, but there'll be an offside call here. The puck's gone out, the face-off will go to the other end, and there are 10 seconds remaining on the period. Steve Moria away from the Cardiff Devils for three years. He was a former captain of the team. He was British Division One's leading scorer last year. And uh, in speaking to Ian Cooper, because he was part of the club before and because he blends in so well, it's almost like he's never left. Steve Nemeth for the Steelers. Final attack, surely the slap shot high and wide. Priestley follows it in with seconds to go. There goes the Hooter. The period ends. Nil nil, but really frenetic action from both sides. Outstanding goaltending from Martin Mackay in the Steelers' nets and from 15 year old Stevie Lyle in the Cardiff Devils' nets. Only one penalty on the period. That going to Mike O'Connor, number 17 for the Steelers. That for slashing. But it all ended level. It's Sheffield, it's Cardiff Devils nil, Sheffield Steelers nil. So no goals in the first period, but we'll be back for the second period at the Welsh National Ice Rink very, very shortly. After the break, though, we'll have all. Already some uh, goals have been going in around the country. Uh, Bolton are currently a goal up against Everton. They're second from bottom, don't forget, and they've lost their last three matches, but it's looking good for them for the start, at least. Miksu Patalainen with a goal in the first minute of that game. And in the Manchester derby, well, United have got off to uh, the start that everybody thought they would. They've already got a, gone a goal up. Paul Scholes has scored to uh, make it Manchester United 1, Manchester City 0 in the Manchester derby. And uh, in Division 1, derby are currently trailing by a goal to nil, Ips against Ipswich, Steve Sedgley with a goal in the third minute of that match. So uh, there you have the early scores around the country this afternoon. Obviously we'll be keeping you right up to date with all the football news as we progress through the afternoon. But now it's back to the ice hockey. There were no goals in the first period against Cardiff, uh, between Cardiff and Sheffield. Let's get back now to the Welsh National Ice Arena and join our commentator Tony Millard. 
We're back for the second period of this fabulous B&H quarterfinal. Cardiff Devils nil, the Sheffield Steelers nil. A first period that has seen fantastic goaltending at both ends, with no fewer than 11 shots by saved by 15-year-old Stevie Lyle and 15 by man of the match so far, Martin Mackay. Face off then for the second period. The Steelers gain possession right from the start. O'Connor, Les Millie, deep into the Cardiff zone and the chase is on for Plummer. Miss red there. Cranston, across the net, round behind the net. Shannon Hope, bit of tuster from Plummer. Hope brings it out. McEwen. Great wear. Gets it across to point and flipped out. It's going to be surely a call here for icing. The first goal, Bob's going to be vital if anybody gets it, isn't it? It is. This game nil-nil after one period, but Sheffield will be very pleased with that. They're playing away from home. If they leave this game, with a nil-nil score line, they know that they've got that advantage going back onto their home ice. Moria wins the face-off. Matulik back to Stephen Cooper. Cooper lines up the slap shot, which is wide. Ron Shudra. Shooter just fails to get it out. Mackay round behind his own net. Here come the Steelers. Ron Priestley checks it back to Shudra. But here come the Devils away, the Devils on the break here. Matulik down the left flank. Matulik has men with him. Defensive cover is good, but the shot goes in from Mike Ware. Hits his own man and lays out Ian Cooper. Ian Cooper is suffering, but Tony Hand's got a chance at the other end. And flips it into the net. Tony Hand producing the first goal of the game. Ian Cooper still down on the ice. There's a bit of an argument going on here. Tony Hand says that that puck has definitely gone in the goal. They'll be talking to the goal judge just to find out exactly what the call will be. Go away. A lot of discussion taking place down on the bench as to whether that went in or not. I mean, if you don't calm down, we're going to go. Can we get some after this thing now? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. If you've got possession of the fucking volume they've got breakaway and goal. End of story. The team scored it. I'll tell you this just later on. Right? Tony Ann scored it, and I'll tell you this just later on. shooting at there he fakes the shot Lyle doesn't commit completely to it but makes a very nice shot to get the puck upstairs into the top part of the net well there was a lot of dispute and at the other end we saw Ian Cooper almost laid out but that goal Tony Hands 14th this season in the Benson the Hedges Cup an unassisted goal the puck won just over the red line and Hand made it all and we know now that they are 1-0 in front. Can they take that lead to the Sheffield Arena? Matulik for Cardiff. They're not giving up. Sheffield keep it in hand. The chance from Shudra on the turn. Ron Shudra from Tony Hands chip in. But now here comes Cardiff. Ian Cooper. Moria. Matulik is with him. The Sheffield defence is playing well at this stage in the second period. Just under five minutes gone of the period. Here's Shudra. Can he get the shot in? Good defensive work by uh, Mike Ware. As Cardiff come away, Moria, Matulik, the shot. Mackay is equal to it. We saw a great example of the hand-eye coordination of Ron Shudra. Ivan Matulik taking the puck on the wing. 
He just goes over the blue line and takes a shot on Martin Mackay, but he has no trouble with that. The result is a face-off deep in Sheffield territory. Well, Mackay still with his shutout intact with five minutes of the second period gone. 1-0 to the Sheffield Steelers. Tony Hand, the scorer, has 14th goal this year in the Benson and the Hedges Cup. Randy Smith behind his own goal. Here come Cardiff, out to point to Jason Stone. Stone with a slap shot, whacked away by Mackay. Scott Neal. Nemeth. Marlow wanted that, but Nemeth is getting the shot in. It's the stick of Stevie Lyle, bounces off the side netting. Out of the defensive zone to O'Connor. O'Connor shot taken down well by Lyle. End-to-end -end stuff, still 1-0 to Sheffield. Randy Smith. Could we get a penalty call here? No, the referee says no, we play on. The Cardiff fans hollering, Greg Ware winning the puck. Out to 29, Neil Francis, the 20-year-old Welshman who missed much of last season with a shoulder injury, but he's in the thick of the action here. Marlow to Nemeth for the Steelers. Nicky Chin with a shot, taken at the second attempt by Stevie Lyle. McEwen and Chin, great contact there. Big Doug McEwen, young Nicky Chin. The hard skating McEwen, they keep it in, the shot from Shannon Hope, the block from Marlow. Stone losing out of Cranston, Cranston with the shot. Flicks off the stick of Mike Ware and a breather for all concern. A lot of bumping and grinding going on out there, but both teams taking care of their defensive zones. They're, they're almost certain that when the puck comes around the barrier, it's got to go out over the blue line. That way, the other team on the offense must turn around and regroup and come in as a unit. That's not always so easy. Plus, it gives the team that shot the puck out of the zone a little bit of a chance for a breather and to regroup themselves. Well, the smiles on the faces of the Steelers supporters there because their side leads 1-0 as Cardiff come away. Stephen Cooper looking for Shannon Hope. Defensive cover here in this second period from the Steelers is excellent. So Lee Young, the 18-year-old linesman for Brack, will take it that place off as Kellen chases back for the Steelers. Out to point, Les Millie. Tommy Plummer. Plummer flicks it out, Randy Smith keeps it in the zone, but it comes out on the rebound. Stephen Cooper puts it back. Abel's watching it, Kellen's there. Here comes Cranston. On his right, but Abel plays it left. Flipped out by Plummer, Cranston's there. But it's the Devils with Stephen Cooper, Big Doug McEwen, Randy Smith. Abel stays calm. To Cranston, only as far as Stephen Cooper. Cooper's shot is wild, Kellen. Both teams changing, it's uh, Neil Abel who finds Les Millie. Strikes the linesman, keeps the puck in, falls to Matulik. Lovely poke check there from Abel, keeps it out of his defensive zone. Bit of rough stuff on Shudra. Mike Ware, but in turn Stephen Cooper. Moria with the slap shot. Long range won this as Mackay goes down and almost loses it. Matulik round behind the net. Slap shot going in from Stephen Cooper. Pads of Mackay, but here comes Priestley. Hands on the far side. Hand gets the shot in and the second goal to Tony Hand. A brilliant goal from Tony Hand, his second of the game, his 15th in the Benson the Hedges Cup. The Cardiff Devils got caught pressurizing in the offensive zone, which enabled the Sheffield Steelers to come out on a two-on-one situation. 
Ken Priestley picks this loose puck up. He knows he's got Tony Hand with him. Makes a nice little pass across the ice. Tony Hand makes no mistake. Priestley coming in on the zone, just takes his time, lets Greg Ware commit himself over to Tony Hand. Boom, she's in the back of the net. Tony Hand there with the assist from Priestley, and that puts the Steelers in control. Two goals to nil with just under an 11 and a half minutes left in the second period. Cardiff nil, Sheffield two. They're singing from Yorkshire. Moria nudged off the puck there by Nicky Chin. In goes Smith, but Moria wins it back and wins it back well. That's Jason Stone with him, but Peter Smith, Wookie puts it deep over and into the Steelers line. But the Steelers are playing good hockey this period. Steve Nemeth. Nemeth with the slap shot. Lyle is screened as uh, Scotty Neal goes across it. Cardiff, Greg Ware deep into the Sheffield zone. Can Cardiff pull it back? Nicky Chin gets booed by the fans of his old club. Good stick handling there by Shannon Hope, almost creates an opportunity. Good play from Sheffield Steelers, Nemeth and Plummer combining well. But Cardiff win it back and here comes Doug McEwen. Shot from McEwen goes off the skate of O'Connor and to safety. Marlowe and McEwen. An altercation, a little one at least. Lovely check there from O'Connor. They're putting it about here as McEwen's flattened stone keeps it in. Here comes Millie. Hope with the shot. Lovely body check. They're putting themselves about here. It's a steam has come away again. That's Millie. Giving his colleagues a chance to change on the fly. Shannon Hope for Cardiff. The chanting, the noise. A great atmosphere here. Just under 10 minutes of the period remaining. The game halfway over at the moment. And two goals from Tony Hand have made it Sheffield 2, Cardiff 0. The Cardiff Devils find themselves behind the eight ball. And you can see that in their play. They're pressing forward all the time now. They're trying to take advantage of opportunities. And they're really on top of the puck when it goes into Sheffield zone. Well, Alex Dampier gets happier and happier. There's the second goal going in from Tony Hand. Two goals from Hand, and you can hear it now in the background. We can tell which fans those are that are singing, I'm sure. Yes, Tony Hand so far in the Benson and the Hedges this year has made his mark on plenty of occasions, 15 so far, and uh, certainly making his presence felt here tonight. Tony Hand on the puck once again. That was an intended pass, I would have thought, to, but uh, the icing call brings the puck down at the other end. So both his goals, his first goal from Tony Hand tonight was unassisted. The second laid on a peach by Ron Priestley. Tony Hand, a key player coming over from Edinburgh to Sheffield just this season. But you look for players like this to do a big job in a key game. He's clearly a very creative player, very offensive, very dominant that way. That's what his game's all about. Stephen Cooper with the shot for Cardiff, but they can't seem to get him on target this period. And there this time, Mike Ware, won by Ron Shudra. Here comes Priestley. Priestley taking his time, a chance for Priestley. Rob Priestley came out of nothing and there into the net it went. Very innocent play by Ken Priestley. He was actually coming into the zone looking for options. He's looking around there. He's seeing what he could do. Mike Ware manages to get a hold of him, but not enough. And he just bangs at it at the last moment and catches the short side of the net on Lyle. Just gets in over the blue line, looking for options. Gets tied up by Mike Ware, but still manages to get the shot away to beat the sprawling Stevie Lyle. 
Joy for the Steelers, and Ron Shoot to the skipper awarded an assist on that one, but no doubt about the score of Ken Priestley, with just under, just over eight and a half minutes remaining. As Cardiff have it all to do, 3 0 it is to the Sheffield Steelers. And a chance to break the deadlock. Goal going in there. Brilliant effort there from Steve Borio. Steve Borio collecting that on the edge of the crease and putting Cardiff back in it. Stephen Cooper is the key to this play as he keeps the foot, he keeps the puck in his own. It just goes around Andrew Mello here. He's basically tied up, but manages to get the pass out to Steve Borio, who's in front of the net. And he makes no mistake when he's in close like that. Pass out by Cooper, one time by Steve Moria. So Cardiff back in it. This Wales national ice rink has come alive. Devils one, Steelers three. Eight and a half minutes of the second period to go. Steve Borrier, the fans' favourite, the scorer. The assist going to Ivan Matulik and Stephen Cooper. Nicky Chin for Steelers. It'll start to be a battle of tactics in a moment, I'm sure. Doug McEwen there, holding it up for Cardiff. And now... Absolutely vital that Cardiff hold their lines for a while and the Cardiff bench certainly looking pensive. They know they're back in the game. It's a big goal for the Cardiff Devils to get themselves back into this hockey game and keep the fight and the fire moving. Another one will get them right back into this game. But on contrast to that, you can see that Sheffield's going to try and prevent that and just keep the puck very, very simple along the boards. Make no mistakes. Paul Heavey is the man at the bench there giving instructions to his players. It's frenetic now there. They know what they have to do. And Paul Heavey is the man motivating his team here in their home ring. But the Steelers keeping it in the zone. But here comes Cardiff. Randy Smith with the slap shot. It's deflected to safety as McEwen follows it in. Right round behind the goal goes McEwen. Can he get it out to point? No, he gets the shot away. Penalty called here. McEwen is brought down and we're going to have to see who the call is on because we know now there Doug McEwen one of the most prominent players for the Devils and certainly around the league because he is such a good skater he picks the puck up in their zone makes a nice move there doesn't quite get the shot on goal because it is deflected but creates the penalty and as a result Cardiff are going to go on the power play. So Chris Kellen, the man in the box, which means now we have the chance of a Sheffield power play. But here comes Rob Priestley again, the chance of a shorthanded goal, but Stevie Lala's equal to it. And there's a penalty call here now, so the power play advantage is lost. The shot blocked by Ken Priestley in his own defensive zone on the shot from Mike Ware. What, he just manages to get he just manages to get the speed up and get by Mike. As a result of that, he's having to be held down. Chris Kellen, the man in the box, but he's quickly followed into the box there by Mike Ware, going in there for, uh, for Cardiff, which means that now both teams are back to level. Number 26 for Cardiff, Mike Ware goes into the box to join Chris Kellen. Kellen has only served 10 seconds, so we had a 10 second power play there for Cardiff. Bob, they could have done with better. Mike Ware will be disappointed that that call was made because he knows that he wanted to keep his team on the power play. Randy Smith going it alone for Cardiff. But this time, here's another chance for Ken Priestley. Here's Priestley, can he stick it away? Hits the red, it's a steal work. Priestley misses his target. Here comes Cardiff. Doug McEwen. Priestley hitting the pipe work. Shannon Hope. Tony Hand. Penalty's 10 second advantage the way of uh, Cardiff at the moment. 
One minute and 30 seconds, six, six seconds remaining there on the penalty. 131 now for Mike Ware. 123 remaining on Chris Callan's penalty. Temper starting to flare out there. We see lots of big hits. Dougie McEwen trying to get his team back into the game. That's the reason why he's making hits like that. He knows that it's... Shannon Hope coming into the zone just takes the shot. Martin McKay stacks the side of the net against the post, makes the save, and creates the face-off. Well, the pace of the hockey in this period is something pretty special, Bob. They're going at it hammer and tongs. No quarter ass, none given as the Steelers come away. Shudra just stops himself going offside. Nemeth picks it up. Shudra's there. O'Connor's with him. Kicked away by Lyle. Greg Ware brings it out of his zone. Challenged by Nemeth. Moria with him, the goal scorer for Cardiff. Getting it back to point to Greg Ware. Ware flips it forward to Matulik. One by O'Connor to Sheffield. Has Shudra with him. And now the chance is on for Chin, but Stone provides the cover for Cardiff. A 10-second difference on the penalties at the moment. Shudra. The seconds counting down. Kelland will be the first one back on the ice. Kellen about to come back down below us. Kellen is back on the ice. Mike Ware will be with us in a minute. Ware about to come out too with a 10 second difference on the penalties. Here comes Mike Ware, he's on the ice. Both teams back to strength. And Ware picks it up straight away, fed by Moria. Matulik is having problems there because he thought he was hooked, but here's Chin. Chin with the shot, the post there hit by... Really, that's twice in the battle of a couple of minutes that the Steelworth has been hit by the Sheffield Steelers. Mike Ware's going to get a shot in here. Mackay is equal to it. And uh, we can now see what ice hockey is all about. They say it's a man's game, and that certainly made it so. Mike Ware getting the shot on the goalkeeper. And he was mad on that play. He let the shot go. Mackay makes the save, but watch him come in on this. He just going, he wants to put that in himself. No matter how it happens, he wants that puck going into the net. So uh, straight away, Mike Ware is going to go into the box again. He's just come out of there. Two minutes for charging the call on Mike Ware as he charged into goaltender Martin Mackay and really the referee uh, Simon Kirkham had no option there, did he? Mike Ware will be arguing that call as a result. He's received a cut just around the nose area. So Mike Ware, two minutes for charging. He's back in the box within 60 seconds of coming out of it. One of the things Paul Heavey will be telling his players is, is he'll say, guys, make sure we've got that high man. On a number of different occasions here, Sheffield have made that pass up front, made the transition play. We find Kent Priestley, Tony Hand in on two-on-one -on -one situations. Those are the areas that are going to kill you. Well, the Sheffield Steelers have the power play. They've only had 10 seconds of power play so far in this match, but there goes the shot in from Nemeth across to Hand. The cover is effective as Cardiff come away, but for Randy Smith, uh, fails to gain possession, leaving it to Shudra. Sheffield, can they make this power play count? Here they go. Kellen flipping it across all the way, perhaps too far. Four and a half minutes remaining on the period. And Stevie Lyle is down to that. A minute and a half remaining on the penalty on Mike Ware. Stevie Lyle. The puck comes back to the point to Ron Shudra. He just gets it into Ken Priestley now. He's at a bit of a bad angle here. He would have liked to have got a better shot away. But Stevie Lyle just jumped on it and caused the stoppage in play. While the Steelers pulling the goal back through Steve Moria, but Rhea, the, sorry, the Devils pulling the, uh, the goal back through Steve Moria, but really the period belonging to Sheffield Steelers. Not only have they scored three goals this period, but twice they've hit the pipe work. And here they come again on the power play. Helen, Tony Hand, with the shot into the side netting. 
comes out Priestley's looking for it and wins it to hand looking for Priestley to shoot her on the point the vicious shot Lyle fails to hold it but gets it at the second attempt as they charge in there the change in the flow of play there a nice opportunity for Sheffield Ken Priestley I believe going around behind the net he just brings it back because he knows that the rest of the Devils players that was actually Tony Hand. The Devils players were all going the other direction. There was Shudra. He gets the, gets the shot from the point. Nicky Chin is in there for a rebound, but Stevie Lyle covers up. Here comes Shudra on the point again, and Lyle gets down to that despite being screened by no fewer than three players. He couldn't have seen that one, but he was equal to it. Moria for Cardiff. Stephen Cooper. Chin wins it back with Priestley in front of him. Priestley skating hard. Hope with the cover. McEwen in front of the net, but so is Tony Hand. Lyle gets it down, but too late for the referee. Just over three and a half minutes remaining in the period, and it's 3-1 to the Sheffield Steelers. The Steelers will be trying to gain control in the offensive zone on this power play situation. Gain control. And try and get a good scoring opportunity. Well, there's Alex Dampier certainly giving instructions. He must be fairly satisfied with what's happened in this period. His team 3-1 in front when it counts. But Cardiff get this out. It's chased back. Good piece of work there uh, quickly by Cranston. Millie with the chase. O'Connor back on point. Marlowe across the other side. Can they get it to him? O'Connor tries to get the shot and the break here, but big Doug McEwen. Could this be number two for Cardiff? McEwen finds the net. A brilliant effort by Doug McEwen. His ninth goal in the fence and the hedges this season. Cardiff are back in the game. A game-breaking player is Doug McEwen. And he capitalizes on this opportunity. The shot from the point just hits his stick. He goes in alone, clear on goaltender Mackay, all the way from the red line. Looks like he's going to fake the shot. He takes it anyway. And puts it right between the legs of Martin Mackay. So it's Cardiff 2, Sheffield 3. The game is alive here. A really fabulous second period with just three minutes of it remaining. Devils second goal scored by number 75, Devils 2, Steelers 3. There were no goals in the first period, but we made up for it in this second. Marlow being chased by Mike Ware. Cranston. Are we going to get the offside call? Surely it was. Referees let it go. Linesman let it go. Morrier on the puck. Mike Ware. Here comes McEwen. A check from O'Connor. Cranston wins it back. Marlowe flips it forward. That's going to be icing. Just over two and a half minutes of the period remaining. Just one goal in it. Momentum changing from Sheffield to Cardiff as a result of the goal by McEwen. The Sheffield coaching staff we're just trying to calm their players down, try and change the momentum somewhat again in their favor, go into the second period, or finish the second period, I should say, with the one goal lead. Sheffield electing to do a late change there, bringing Scotty Neal onto the ice. He'll have a specific job to do by Gant Dampier and his coaching staff. The crowd thinking what pub went in from where on point, but it went straight into the side netting and the Steelers get it out of the zone. Ian Cooper tries to get it back in, but somehow it's Nemeth. We're inside the last two minutes of the period. 3-2 to Sheffield Steelers. Three goals they've scored, twice they've hit the pipework in this period. But Cardiff have come back with two. And they're back in this game with a vengeance. One minute and 34 seconds remaining. They change lines once again. This is when it really counts, playing three lines, Bob. The guys are fresh. They're coming off that bench. They can contribute so much to the game. If you're tired, you're not thinking the same way, and you get yourself into trouble. The face-off, then, deep in the Cardiff Devils zone. Can Cardiff pull one back to level it on the period? Can Shepard extend the lead? Neil Abel whacks it in. A minute and a half remaining, or just under. Here comes Randy Smith. Jason Stone helps him. It's flicked out of the zone, but only as far as Kellen. Kellen bringing it out. Some hard skating 
The experienced Cullen loses possession here and could this be another chance for Doug McEwen? McEwen gets it back to point, the shot goes in from Brandy Smith, it's just wide. Shannon Hope gets it back, but out of the zone it comes, another chance coming the way of Cardiff. Somewhat unfortunate there, inside the last minute the stone plays it out to McEwen. But it's won by Priestley for the Steelers. Greg Ware coming back on the cover with Jason Stone, but losing out the chance here coming the way of Tony Han. Oh, if he'd got a stick on that, there would have been a goal. Just half a minute remaining, just over half a minute. Randy Smith for Devils. And here comes the set. Doug McEwen with the shot, can it get in? But here we come, here comes uh, Ron Shooter with it out for the Steelers. Here comes Tony Hand, hands in possession. But somehow it comes out of the zone with just 16 seconds remaining. An incident there and uh, the referee deciding that something's got to be done about it. And somehow it looks as if uh, Tony Hand was losing his helmet there. But there's a penalty called and we we'll see on whom here because this could be vital right at the end of the period. It appears that there are two two-minute penalties being called here. Well, Alex Dampier far from happy about that because it could turn the game here. Well, there's some, some argument going on there as to what uh, should have happened or what is happening. The referee, Steve uh, Kirkham, has decided that uh, Big Doug McEwen goes into the box and at the other end uh, of the bench, so... And Tony Hand, a penalty for roughing, certainly he's in the box there and we can see him and he's having a word with the Cardiff fans there. <laughs> well, McEwen and Hand in the box. But Hand uh, certainly seems to have two two-minute penalties there because it's the Steelers that are playing short-handed with 12 seconds remaining. Tony Hand then, two plus two, which means the power play is the way of Cardiff Devils with 12 seconds remaining on the period. But the Steelers have to kill this one with seven seconds remaining on the period. With Cardiff in possession. There goes the shot, kept away by Mackay. Here it comes, and that's the end of the period. A marvellous period of ice hockey. 3-2, the Steelers lead, but penalties to tell. Two goals from Tony Hand and one from Ron Priestley, putting Sheffield seemingly in control. But Steve Morrier coming back on an assist from Stephen Cooper. And then a great goal from Doug McEwen gave Cardiff hope for the end of the period. Those penalties could count against the Steelers, with Tony Hand starting the third period in the box. It's Cardiff 2, Sheffield 3. And with side are trailing by two goals to three can they turn it around in the crucial third period let's find out our commentator is tony millard you join us in the third period cardiff devils two sheffield steelers three a fabulous game of ice hockey which could be decided by penalties because tony hand the man who scored two goals already for sheffield is in the penalty box along with neil abel serving the first of a two plus two penalty in the box at the other end is Doug McEwen and that means that when McEwen and the first two minutes of hands penalty are solved we see two men come back on the ice and then there's a power play the way of Cardiff who are now in possession Mike Ware here it comes can Cardiff keep it in Matulik out to point to Mike Ware Stephen Cooper's this side and Martin Mackay gets down on it well. Well, there is uh, Cooper, Steve Cooper, Stephen Cooper playing it around the back. 
But here come the Steelers once again. Ron Shudra in possession. Flicked up the ice. Abel round behind the net. Plummer gets it out of, or tries to get it out of the zone. One back for Cardiff by Randy Smith. Still deep in the Steelers' zone with Smith round behind the net. Now it comes. Got a bit of skating there by Tommy Plummer. Loses possession. Good poke check by Ware. 3 2 still to the Sheffield Steelers. 15 and a half minutes remaining of the game. A great game of ice hockey here. Played in plen splendid spirit as Cranston in possession for the Steelers. Going round behind the net. Comes out, tries to flick it too far across the crease. And out come Cardiff once again. Randy Smith, Mike Ware, deep into the zone, gets the shot away, but just wide. Held against the back of the net. So one has the impression that Cardiff have lifted their game a bit, Bob. Sheffield have done a good job. Tony Hand coming out of the penalty box now. Alex Dampier will be pleased with that. But Sheffield have done a good job to mark key players on the Carter side. Randy Smith, a very dominant force and offensive player, who Cardiff will be looking to to score some goals, has been nullified by the Sheffield Steelers side so far. Plenty of action here in the Wales National Ice Rink. Second leg still to come at the Sheffield Arena. Nothing between the sides. Save that one goal. 3-2 to Sheffield. Moria around behind the net. Kellen shadowing him well. Tony Hand finds big Ron Shudra. Shudra checks back inside. Has nobody with him. The cover well from Greg Ware. Matulik. Moria's with him. Matulik gets the shot away. Hits a post on the side of the side netting. Mike Ware gets it back in. Cardiff started to play a bit. Randy Smith round the back of the net. Stephen Cooper looks for it. Matulik's with him. Moria held into the boards by Kelland. Puck comes loose. Abel gets back to try and get it out of the area, but it's held in, in fact, by Cooper. Round behind the net, looking for Moria. Stephen Cooper with the cover for Cardiff, chased by Tony Hand. Gets it outside the defensive zone as far as Moria. Moria inadvertently back towards his own keeper, Lyle. To where? Here comes Stephen Cooper. Randy Smith is with him, trailing. Randy Smith gains possession. Nobody on point. Nicky Chin comes away with it for the Steelers. Scott Neal's there. The shot from Chin is saved by Lyle. Chin gets another go. He's done there. It's tough in the corner. Mike Ware with the check. Cheers as Nicky Chin, the former Cardiff player, is taken into the boards. Mike Ware comes away. Puck runs loose. Scotty Neal with Mike Ware. Bodies flying everywhere. The game is warming up. Here comes Nemeth. Nicky Chin is with him. Chin has a chance. Great goal for Nicky Chin. Nicky Chin, a marvellous goal against his former club. A great effort from Nicky Chin. His fourth goal in this year's Benson and Hedges. That's like two goals for Nicky Chin, once against the Cardiff Devils, and the other against the supporters that are here tonight. Steve Nemeth coming out of the zone. Nice little move there. It's a two-on-one now, just over to Nicky Chin. He makes no mistake to put it in behind Lyle. This is a move right on Doug McEwen there. A two-on-one against Jason Stone. Over to Nicky Chin, and he puts it in the top corner. So, Nicky Chin, that's probably what the young Welshman wanted to do, to score against his old club. He's done just that to make it Cardiff 2, Sheffield 4. Here comes Priestley, and surely he's brought down there. No call, really. Uh, I think if we'd have been in Tilburg last week, that certainly would have called. There was Randy Smith with the shot. But really, it seemed to me that Priestley was flat and good and proper there, a genuine trip. Sometimes I think we learn if they're going to fall, they do it in a very, very sporadic way. Ken Priestley was clear, though, and he definitely was going for goal. And should he get in alone, there you see. But he just manages to get caught. That was, that was probably a legitimate penalty. Simon Kirkham didn't think so, though. Well, Simon Kirkham comes from Leicester, and perhaps they have different rules there. <laughs> 
Nemeth away for the Steelers, 4-2. They lead, Stevie Lahr gets it away, Nemeth gets it back in. Priestley on the crease, almost there. Here comes Cardiff, Randy Smith, lovely pass out. Comes back to Matulik, a great effort. Once again, the pipes are hit, and Martin Mackay gets down on it. Ivan Matulik there, a great chance of a goal. A fabulous shot, Mackay was beaten all ends up, but the post came to his rescue. Nice tic-tac-toe passing with Matulik getting the shot on the goal. He just lets it go. Mackay gets a little bit of it, but it hits the crossbar. You gotta have a little luck on your side sometimes. Nice little pass by Randy Smith. Another tic-tac-toe to Matulik, who's in the slot area, and he's the shooter. Mackay comes up with a save and has a little bit of luck on it. It was so quick, I did Mackay an injustice. He certainly got something on that and probably saved a certain goal. McKeown with a face-off for Cardiff. Can they do it? Just under seven minutes remaining, 4-2 to Sheffield. We have a little bit of fun going on between Ian Cooper and uh, down to my right there. There's a little bit of friendly rivalry, I think. Uh, Ian Cooper, Ron Shooter is there. These players will be jostling for position on this face-off. An inch means a lot if you're taking this face-off and you can gain possession of the puck. Greg Ware with the shot, flicked away by the stick of Ron Shudra. Mackay gets across quickly. McEwen takes a tumble. One has the impression that Cardiff will keep McEwen on for much of the remaining period. Cranston with the shot, flicked away by Lyle. Cranston gets another one. Cranston gets in the rebound. A marvellous goal from Cranston, his first of the game. And now Sheffield are singing as Cranston scores his fifth goal in the Benson and Hedges this year. Rebounds being the key here. Kim Cranston, a big game player. He always comes up with that goal when you need it. He just takes the shot. A bit of a rebound coming off of Stevie Lyle. And he's there to pick that rebound up and put it in the back of the net. Cranston's a very good skater. He knows he's got no room here. He just takes the shot. The rebound comes out and he puts it in the empty net. A genuine mistake by the 15-year-old goaltender for the Cardiff Devils. It's Sheffield leading five goals to two. Just over five minutes remaining. The second leg still to come, and here comes Doug McEwen. Greg Ware keeps it in. One by Hope. Hope gets the slap shot in against the pads of uh, Martin McCoy. Couldn't have known much about that. Scotty Neal whacks it away up the ice. The icing call will give Sheffield a breather, but as they lead by five goals to two, they won't mind about that. Tax, tactics changing with the Sheffield Steelers. Scotty Neal coming out there to give a guy a couple of breathers. Alex Dampier thinking about things. He's now moved Ron Shudra off the forward line with Tony Hand and Ken Priestley. And he put him back on defense. He's back out again on the forward line now as Michael Connor and Andrew Mello are playing defense. But Dampier would have done that to give his defenseman a bit of a breather. One gets the impression that Alex Dampier's going for the kill here because a three-goal lead could well clinch the tie for Sheffield as they take it back to their own ice rink. Stephen Cooper, the Cardiff captain, has got to do something, perhaps to boost his team. Cooper, a two-link, heavy check, an effective one there by O'Connor. The Steelers get it out. They'll be content with that. Ron Shudra now chasing Cardiff. Just over five minutes remaining, a three-goal margin as Matulik gets it to Mike Ware. Ware nicks it in, Randy Smith chases it, but here come the Steelers again. Priestley, Shudra's trading, here goes the chance of another goal, a brilliant one there. And Tony Hand gets his third goal of the game. Going in there and sailing in on the pass. A hat-trick for Tony Hand, which means for him it's 16 goals in the Benson this year. A beautiful combination effort here. Ken Priestley, once again, gaining possession, taking the puck into the zone, sees Tony Hand racing down the far side. He makes no mistake with it on a one-time pass with a shot in behind Steve Lyle. Here we go with five minutes to go. Sheffield leading six goals to two. They opened up with a three-goal lead. Cardiff pulled two back, but now Sheffield in this third period have made the game well and truly their own. Stephen Cooper, the Cardiff captain, gets it out of the zone, or doesn't, he gets it to Randy Smith. Randy Smith tries to find his man, Matulik, and does at the second attempt. Mike Ware, Cardiff come forward. 
Plummer wins it now and checks back well, but the defensive cover is deep, but Plummer beats both of them. And checks back to get the puck across to the man on point. No, he doesn't. He flicks it into the corner. There's nobody chasing that. Sheffield to come back and consolidate. Here come Cardiff, Moria. Randy Smith's on his right. Here comes Cardiff. Randy Smith, can he get the shot in? Goes to Matulik. There's a penalty call here. Ivan Matula getting a broken stick on that play. And instead of dropping the, dropping the stick and going over to his bench to pick a new one up, he probably didn't realize that it was broken and he just continued to, to get involved in the play. He ends up getting called on a two-minute delay of game penalty. Well, a very unfortunate penalty there for playing with a broken stick. Two minutes for Ivan Matulik, and that means that uh, Cardiff have to play shorthanded. They're only four minutes to go. They're 6-2 down. Really, they wanted anything but this at this stage. Matulik's such a tremendous competitor as well. He comes to play every night. He's a big, strong guy, and he really hasn't been getting the bounces his way tonight. This guy in the way of Sheffield at the moment. Just over four minutes remaining. Sheffield leading 6-2. The game going the way of Sheffield. Insurance as they take it to the Sheffield Arena. Cardiff will have to come back quickly in the second leg or pull at least something back now here. The Wales Arena, exceedingly quiet of Welsh chance, but the Yorkshire voices are making themselves heard. The Scotsman there in control of the Cardiff team. Paul Heavey has his work cut out this weekend. Frustration perhaps starting to set in a little bit, but he knows that there's a second leg coming up. Now, Cardiff have got tremendous offensive strength, so they can score goals. So no matter what's transpiring, he knows that they've got a chance going back into Sheffield. He'll want to try and big one, bring one back before this game's over with. Well, the Young Devils fans there are still hopeful of getting something out of this, but with just under four minutes remaining, Cardiff playing short-handed and 6-2 down. Their task means they have a mountain to climb. Tony Hand for Sheffield. Time on their side. But they won't shy at the chance of another goal because this could really sew the tie up. Outside Paul on the blue line. The Sheffield coaching staff electing to shift their lines a little bit once again. Nicky Chin on your screen, certainly revenge here against his former club. The Welshman back in Cardiff, but certainly enjoying himself here tonight. And he's also playing on a power play at the moment alongside of Ken Priestley and Tony Hand, moving Ron Shudra back onto defence as we discussed earlier on in the game. So Cardiff have got their work cut out. A chance here, Ron Shudra back on defence with Chris Kellen. Rob Priestley coming back with him as they mount the power play. Tony Hand, a hat-trick to his name so far. Kellen, just over three minutes remaining. There goes Priestley. Three minutes remaining, or just over. Practically over with uh, really the Steelers totally in control here and just 49 seconds remaining on the penalty. The unfortunate penalty for Ivan Matulik for playing with a broken stick means that Cardiff up against it perhaps even more than they might have been in these closing stages. As a home game, Cardiff certainly felt that they could probably keep this close. Sheffield knew that if they went into the, their own, own rink on, on Sunday with either one goal down or even that they'd have a clear chance of winning this series. Moria with it for Cardiff, bringing it out with Randy Smith, getting it down neatly and checking back inside, gets the shot away, Mackay's equal to it. Shudra, the Steelers with time on their side. Coming forward, Chin returns it to him, Priestley skating with him, hands behind him, Ron Shudra deep into the area, could this be a goal for Shudra? Yes he does, brilliant piece of skating from Ron Shudra for goal number seven, and it's his 12th in the Benson and Hedges this year. Ron Shudra coming up very big for the Sheffield Steelers on an end-to-end -end rush. He makes a beautiful move here. He catches Shannon Hope going the other direction, puts the puck past him. Nice little move on Stevie Lyle, picks up his own rebound and puts it in the net. He catches Shannon Hope going the other direction. 
Puts his rebound in to give Sheffield their seventh goal. A night to remember for the 22-year-old Welshman against his former Welsh colleagues. Here comes Cardiff. Here goes Ian Cooper. Can he salvage something here? Loses control, but Doug McEwen picks it up to Ian Cooper. Cooper looks for Hope. Hope retains possession. Cooper picks in the slap shot. Mike Ware comes forward. Doug McEwen trails. Just over half a minute remaining. Almost a chance for Cardiff. There is there with Shannon Hope. But somehow Martin Mackay is equal to it. Lots happening there. Really, we could do without this after the way this game has been played. And I'm sure the referees are sorted out. Kellen has his helmet off. And Big Ron Schutner is certainly having his say there. Temper starting to flare at the later stages of this game. Frustration perhaps starting to settle in a little bit from the Carter side. But they basically just haven't got the breaks tonight. They've had some opportunities. The puck just hasn't bounced their way. They're still a very good hockey club. I think they have to put the game in perspective and take that with them going into that second leg in Sheffield. Well, certainly it was done with smiles, that little altercation in front of Martin Mackay's net. Another fine game for Mackay, though. He played well in Tilburg in the Europa Cup at the weekend, and he's doing well here tonight. He's just conceded two goals, both of those in the second period. The fans here from Sheffield almost counting down the seconds now. Randy Smith with a shot, a consolation goal from Randy Smith, but I think it's disallowed because they think there was a man in the crease. No, they're going to give it to Randy Smith, I think. Randy Smith, player of the year. He does his work in the offensive zone. He just gets the puck right around the circle area, lets the shot go right on the ice on the short side. Mackay perhaps didn't see that completely because of Matulik being in the crease. So Randy, Randy Smith with just 15 seconds to go, putting a goal back which could be vital yet for Cardiff. Sheffield leads 7-3. Hitting the post, another chance for a Cardiff goal. Just seconds remaining, but it's all over. A marvellous game of ice hockey. I'm sure the teams will all shake hands on the centre of the ice because they've all enjoyed this. The Sheffield players are back there congratulating their goaltender, Martin Mackay. One goal in the closing seconds, two goals in the second period. But a really great game of ice hockey. It was scoreless at the end of period one. Five goals came in the second period. Sheffield opened up a lead of 3-0 with two goals from Tony Hand and one from Kent Priestley. And it all ended, Cardiff 3, Sheffield 7. All to play for in the second leg, but Sheffield had that four-goal advantage. So Cardiff had it all to do in the second leg of their Benson and Hutt Hedges Cup quarter-final at the Sheffield Arena. You can see all the action on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock on Sky Sports. Right, we're just going to take a very short break, after which we'll have updates on all the football matches throughout England and Scotland for you. We'll see you in a moment.